Hey everybody, Keith Best here, and in this video, I'm going to take you through exporting posts and pages. There's a few things to do to set everything up. Uh, so basically, if you are using Elementor, then to make sure that you get the posts and pages coming out in the right format. So if we have a look at this one, and open it up. So basically it comes out as a full screen like that and not as a half screen or whatever, because this all determines by your template, what are you, your theme, what you're using. You need to go into the element of settings. So you need to click on this box here, the little three uh, hamburger menu, then go into site settings. And then come down to layout. And then I always use the Elementor for width because I like the menu bar and the footer bar myself. Um, obviously, you can have the Elementor canvas, which is what all of our templates are built using. And then you can have where it's actually default pages defaulted by the theme itself. Now, this is what it's normally set on. And that's why sometimes you'll export it and you'll just get it won't look right. Okay, so you've got to make sure that you set it on whichever one you want. So I'm going to set that one on full width because that's the way I like it. Obviously, once you set it on, you just update it. I right, see so what you do is you create a page how you want it with all your short codes in and all the things like that, what you want to have on your page. Obviously, it'll look better than this one. But again, the beauty about Elementor is you can have a number of templates saved. So if you click on here, I don't know, uh, oh, because I'm in the, uh, the settings thing. Let's get out of the settings thing. I was wondering why that wasn't working then. Okay. So if we've built this up for, say, from my other site, my uh, pest control site, if I've built this up and this is going to be a, a termite page, so I've got this laid out for termites, I can just click on there, save as a template, and do this is my termite page, and then save it. Then I can put another page in, which could be for bed bugs. And then I build that page out and then I save it as a template for bed bugs. Then when I decide I'm doing the bed bugs, all I have to do is come back in. I can delete these. Just get rid of all of that page like that. I'll come into here and just go, okay, I want me to turn my page in. Insert yes. And that will then bring that page in and then I can use it for exporting to posts and pages. Okay, let's update that. So we've got it. So, updating the posts and pages. Once we've done that, we also need to make sure that we have all of our, which is obviously not in this one. Let's just copy that. Let's have our meta descriptions in. That's a description. Let's have that in there. Titles. Your titles, and then you can have our keywords, yeah, and then have that. And it's a bit off for now. If you have the uh, schema builder, the WP schema builder, then you can put the advanced schema builder on, and you will be able to put all of your X fields, etc., within your schema. And that will also get pumped out at the same time, as I'll show you in here. If we close that. Okay, so we've got all that set up. We've got our page set up. We've got all our X field set up. We've got all our meta description set up. And we've got the schema and everything like that set up. Okay, so now what we need to do is actually export the posts and pages. So we just click on this link at the side and it pops up with uh, our details. Now the first thing you're going to pick is a group. Okay, so we can have 
access control, residential locksmiths. We can make our own groups up if we want. So we could do something else like sort of um, doors and windows, and that will actually create a group. But we can have as many groups as we want. We can have as many different things. Like I say, on my pest control site, I'll be having like sort of termites, I'll be having bed bugs, I'll be having ants, all that sort of thing, and creating different groups for them. You can append, which basically means any post that you push out will just be added to the end. It doesn't matter if they're the same name or anything like that, they'll be added to the end. So you'll just add more and more posts. You can overwrite the existing, which basically means if you're trying to do some more posts for Pete Lee, then Pete Lee one will get overwritten. So long as they're inside the same group, that is. And obviously you can just delete the existing ones. So all posts or pages inside the uh, access control would get deleted. Okay. As it shows, I've got zero total. In fact, let's just go to pages. Refresh that. So you've got like sort of nothing in there yet. So now you can decide whether you want to actually export them just post or whether you want to export the posts and pages, or whether you want to just export the pages. The choice is yours. Okay. As you can see, if you go to export to pages, then you lose this box over here, which is the categories box. Now the thing about the categories is that you need to have categories set up. Otherwise you'll only get to choose from uncategorized. Yeah, so you need to have these set up if you're going to do posts. If you do posts and pages and you create them 30 or 31 or 35 or whatever uh, exports, then basically what will happen is it will be split between the two. Okay, so you'll have like, so if you're making 30, you'll have 15 posts, 15 pages, and it will be split that way. You won't get like, 30 posts and 30 pages, it splits in between the two. If we just do pages for now, page titles, as you can see, the page titles can contain uh, spin text, can contain short codes. It's entirely up to you what you put in, and you can have as many page titles as you want to randomize the titles. URL options. I always just use auto generate based on title because obviously if I'm creating these titles, I'm going to create them so that they are SEO optimized titles, which we do. I want the URL to be based on them. But if you want to, you can put your own custom titles in. And again, it can contain the actual spin text and short codes and things like that. And you can put as many as you want in. Okay, but I just leave it at that. Next thing you need to do is pick your location. Just get rid of that one. So let's say we want to pick a location, and we this is our base location where we're going to start from. So we pick see them, pick that one. Now 20 miles is going to take it a bit far, so let's just drop it down to three and then. We get 15 locations, so that's fine. We've got our location set. Now we go down to actually create a schedule. 15 locations that are quite easy to publish right now. Let's say I did uh, 25. That's going to create 999 locations, so I wouldn't want to do that all in one go. Put my back down, please, so I don't forget. And basically, you can actually create your schedule so you can do, you know, drop this down to 50% of the pages right now, and then it'll build 50%, just as it does when you're doing your auto install locations, it'll build them over a day, over time. And you can pick whether you want to do them uh, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, or custom. 
you know, and you pick the range from 30 to 90 days. Obviously, make sure if you're doing like sort of 90 days to 90 days, it's you keep them separate. What you want now, I'm just going to do a hundred. And then this bit here, you need to, I'll get rid of all of these. If you're using Elementor to create the page, then you will get options down here. You'll also get options for the other ones, like Divi and things like that. And basically, you just select all of them. And what that does, it makes sure that when your, pod, your page or your post is created, it has all of the right meta stuff inside for Elementor to make sure it looks nice. If you don't put these in, then when it comes out, it's going to look like rubbish because you're not going to have the metadata for Elementor. So that's come in, and then obviously you'll want to save your settings so that you're not going through all this every time. But all you have to do the next time you come in is maybe change that group from access control to something else, or just change the pages and things like that. That makes it easy. But then you hit the export button. It goes away and it creates them, and that's it done. So now we can open this one and have a look. When you click on it, it opens in a new window. There we go, we've got Access Control Wesley. This is the magic page content. And there's our post, and it's exactly as it looked in Elementor. We've got that one there. So like I say, if we want to create a different one now, we go back to there's our, there's our pages. So as you can see, we've now got uh, 16 published. But obviously, there's 17 in total. But we've got the uh, home page and we've got the of the page mixed in at the bottom. So if we go back now, there we go. Let's say we want to create residential locksmith. And we want to append. Uh, we want to do, um, we'll do post this time. And we'll pick residential locksmith, get rid of that one. We've got that. So let's have a look and let's give our titles. That's going to be Resi Venture Locksmith. Doesn't exactly make uh, sense, but there you go. Resi Venture Locksmith. Just so we know the difference. Again, I'm just going to leave that as auto generated. And we could change, keep the same area, or we can just delete that one and put in if we want to. Okay, so too many, so just drop that down. And we'll see that drop. Put the three. At least we get a few locations out. I'll do. Again, I'm just going to leave the schedule as is. And then we'll just export. That one's done. Open that one. And there we've got residential locks for Shotton. And we've got everything there. And if we go to post, we've got the post, so we can pick any one of these. And now the beauty about this is obviously we can now decide to, we want to edit this. So we can edit within here. And as you can see, you've got all of your spin tax in. And if you want to put the meta titles in there, 
then basically you can copy them if you want to put your own meta titles in you can put this is my meta title or actually spell yeah We put our own in and everything like that. And obviously, just update that, otherwise I'll lose it. If we open the schema builder, we've got all of the schema which is being pulled in. And obviously, because in here, it's gone, we've got like location in, so that will pull in the location. I've got another video on how to do the schema builder. So you'll be able to see that to sort that one out. But we've got this. But if I now open this one, we should see this is my meta title. If you can see at the top there, this is my meta title because we've actually changed it. So that is exporting to posts and pages. Obviously, I'll be doing lots of training videos for how to like use them. Uh, and as, as we get to play with them when we come up with new techniques and things like that, we'll be adding them onto my site as well. Catch you on the next video. Bye.